you should say that as a joke. It's not a joke, it's a bit. But you should say that. And it'd be funny because it's fucked up. And people will be uncomfortable, but they'll still laugh at it anyway. I will say that. An unhappy camper. It's what it means to be in the Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts? Come on, man. It's in the name. They should know what's going on. Now I was in Girl Scouts and I pissed off the Girl Scout leaders. And I annoyed my little troop. So I only made it to like, I think, I think I was a brownie. That's as far as I got. And I'm really glad that I only made it that far. Because I didn't like it when I was in it. <laughs> oh god, that takes me back to this time that I went over to the house of my Girl Scout leader, like the leader of the troop or whatever, and, and this is the kind of heathen that I was, alright? I took all the rocks and, and like uh, the front of her house, you know like say you go to somebody's house and they have like a bunch of rocks like in the, uh, what do you call it, in like the garden of their, uh, like the balcony or whatever, you know what I'm talking about right? You go to somebody's house and they live in some, you know, fancy schmancy, you know, suburban home in, in middle America. Okay, and they have all the all the rocks and and the little area with with flowers and shit. I took all the rocks and threw them around, and she fucking hated my goats. Well, that's the kind of shit that we do. <laughs> like I purposely do stuff to fuck shit up, and I do it just because it's fun. And it's not because I'm a sociopath. I used to think it was because I was a sociopath, but it's just because I like to fuck with shit. I like to fuck with people's systems. Because typical systems are lame, you know? And they don't make people happy. And so, I question authority. I question the systems that are in place. I question the things that we're told and the stuff that we're sold and the lies and the bullshit, I question all of it. And maybe my tactics have been wrong. You know, throwing rocks around that probably wasn't a positive thing. But at the same time, like, I feel like I'm the same person. I'm the same person I was when I was that little girl. And I feel like I'm, I'm going back to that. Every second of the day, I'm just going back to my childhood and saying, what's up? This was a good part of me. And I'm glad that the institutions didn't kill it. I'm glad that public school didn't rob me of my creativity and the opportunity that I have to be as individualistic and anti-establishment as I am. Because that's what they do. That's what the whole point of the institution is. To, to destroy your ability to think for yourself and question the systems. Almost lost my coffee just now. Jesus Christ, that's son. Don't take his son's name in vain. Jesus Christ or the son. No, you know, you know which son I'm talking about, damn it. <laughs> hey, you guys. We don't like the son very much, but it's not going to be around for very much longer. Thanks to the, uh, 
uh, megalomania of, of certain political puppets that have been used to destroy the foundation of everything we hold dear. Do we hold it dear though, or have we just capitulated and allowed these people to take over? Because I feel like that's more the case, right? Well, nobody cares unless it directly impacts them. And even if it does impact them, they'll go out of their way to not have to do anything about it. Correct. 